This is that way. The good thing is that we know what we're doing. Speak for yourself. I have no clue. Okay. What's up, guys? Uh, it's Tommy from Galpin Auto Sports. Uh, we were Start all over. Give me a little bit more energy here. Okay. A little monotone. What's okay. up, guys? It's Tommy from Galpin Auto Sports. Got it, got it, got it. What's going on, everyone? It's Tommy from Galpin Auto Sports. And uh, as you can see, we're in a car today. So we're driving down to our storage lot where we keep all of our brand new vehicles. Uh, and we're going to pick a very special Bronco that we're going to be doing some work to. So we got the okay from the general manager of the Ford store to pull uh, a couple cars for us to preload. Again, preloading is when we get a vehicle that's brand new, never owned, and we galvanize it. We customize it. We make it cool, make it sporty, fast, whatever you want to call it. And we, we put it back on the lot for it to sell. So David and I are heading over right now to check out the car that we uh, want to grab. It is a four-door Bronco. It is a Area 51 uh, color. So we are going to grab it. We're going to do some paint work. We're going to do some uh, uh, suspension, wheels and tires. Uh, and we also are going to do some PPF work. Uh, the guys over at Avery reached out to us and said, we want you guys to try our new PPF material. We were all for it. So they sent out some material that we're going to put on this Bronco, test it out, and see how everything goes. So let's go check it out. Hey, brother. Oh, that's, uh, that white one's for another customer of ours that just landed. It's a Shelby Super Baja. It's a uh, Super Duty, and then uh, Shelby calls it a Super Baja. So this is where we go through and PDI vehicles. So it's a pre-delivery inspection. So all these are new vehicles off the transport that they're coming in. We have to make sure they're all checked and ready to go uh, before we sell them. And then on the other side, like on that side, is where actual maintenance work gets done. So heavy line maintenance work, trucks, semis, motorhomes, what have you. But all of these that you're seeing on this side are brand new vehicles. They need to have all their pre-delivery checks done before they get sold. Now look at that big boy. We work on motorhomes. We work on everything. Commercial trucks, old classics. You see we have an old Bronco over there. So yeah, so we will work on it all. So here, let's swing back around. And we'll see if we can find what we need. Ooh, that's a nice Raptor. Look, there's a brand new Raptor over there. Anamaki. I'll take the Raptor though. Look at that baby. Bam. I remember the day I came and picked up my Raptor from here. Felt like yesterday. So there you go. So there's a bunch of Bronco sports that we have. Aha, there it is. Let's just make sure this is Area 51. Can you look at the window sticker? Is this Area 51 color? Area 51. Perfect, okay, it's the right color. All right, so we finally found the car that we're gonna be uh, preloading. Uh, it's out here against the fence line with a bunch of other cars. You see this sweet tremor that we have, a bunch of Bronco sports. I like to call it baby Bronco, and here she is. So we're gonna be taking this unit. Uh, we're gonna be doing some paint work, wheels and tires, suspension, um, some paint protection film from Avery. And I think it's gonna look quite nice once it's all said and done. Uh, so we're gonna grab it here, uh, and then we're gonna take it up front to start working. Let's hit the road. Again, cool stuff like uh, you have your auxiliary switches. So this truck is going to have rear locker um, and it has the uh, trail turn assist, which locks the inner uh, inside rear wheel, whichever that is to, in relation to the turn you're taking, left or right. And it allows you to make a really, really tight turn. And here, there's a cool another option. So you can wash out the bottom uh, of the truck. All you got to do is open up this. Bam, there's the ground. Aren't you going to say hello? Mind blown. And here we are, back at Yalpa Land. Look at those beauties. We have an SVC made travel truck. We have Tim's truck. Look at this Back to the Future uh, CTS we have. Oh, what happened? Oh, aha. Ah. Okay. So Justin over here. Don't mind the pizza boxes. We had a pizza party today and we didn't invite David. But Justin over there, what he's doing is we're doing super duties, especially of that era, even the new ones, have a separate shock, uh, coil and shock. So the um, spring or coil as we call it, is separate where, uh, from where the shock goes. This customer upgraded to a set of badass king coilovers. So again, the coilovers, the difference is you have the coil, spring, and the shock all in one, and it's adjustable. So we gotta mount these up on, uh, so this is where the reservoirs, these bad boys, this will allow these bad boys to get installed. So these get installed on the top hat at the top portion, like right here, uh, sandwiched between this plate and the vehicle. And then the reservoirs get installed there. 
And then you have to run the stickers because the stickers, they give you at least like five to 10 horsepower or in off-road terms, you're going to get at least an inch or two more of travel when you run the stickers. So you have those, all the hardware. So Justin is making the necessary modifications in order to get the coilover shock to fit in there. Because before, again, the spring used to sit here before, here, and then the shock was bolted here. So they were two independent pieces. Uh, so yeah, this is a 350 Super Duty. Uh, it's gonna be quite nice. My truck's actually on the lift as well. Um, you'll see something different. I actually have different wheels on my truck. I threw my um, 1221 wheels back on because it's pretty much beginning of summer. We're in May already and off-road season is officially pretty much closed. So unless I go up to Mammoth or somewhere like much cooler up in elevation, we're not gonna go off-roading in the deserts here because you're gonna fry. So yeah, so my uh, 1221s are back on. Uh, I busted an exhaust clamp, so uh, Patrick is taking care of that for me. And then from the previous videos, you saw our buddy, uh, my client Troy, he just did his mid-travel kit on his Raptor, so he didn't need his uh, stock uh, axle anymore, but he had this cool, serviceable Ford Performance diff cover, as well as this shield that protects the diff from getting damaged. Um, this diff cover, the stock diff cover is much thinner and closer to the back here. So by this being more um, concave, if you will, it allows you to uh, contain more uh, fluid in here, prolonging the life of the diff, because your more fluid usually equals cooler fluid temperatures and the fluid will last longer. So out with the old and with the new. So we had to do some work out here, so we pushed these cars forward. And I, this is a car that I haven't mentioned much, but this is a Shelby concept car. Uh, the whole idea was for Shelby and Ford wanted to take pretty much one of those old Cobras and bring it into the 21st century. Uh, it has, it's powered by a V10 Ford motor, made it to a six-speed transmission. I'm pretty sure no one's really seen this in person. A few of you might have, but it's a, it's a rare car that I've seen in photos until we, uh, until we were lucky enough to get it. Kind of has some Ford GT vibes when you look inside it, but not really. It's still unique to itself. And then around back, Anything with this short of a wheelbase that has that much power. Uh, yeah, very fun, but very scary at the same time. Okay, so let's go check out this Bronco. So there it is. So there's our Bronco. Uh, we got it back from paint, so the paint work was all done. We decided to go with a retro uh, color scheme. So we did the off-white on the roof, off-white on the grill. We did the lettering of Bronco to match the vehicle in the Area 51. And then we did the graphics, this is actually vinyl, to match the coloring up top. Uh, so what it's left to do it, and again, we did um, four wheel parts, rock sliders. Uh, we put loaner wheels on it right now while we're pushing it around the shop. The wheels that we're gonna run on it are out being uh, finished. And then, yeah, so right now, door handles are off because we're gonna be doing paint protection film on the vehicle. The spare tire's off, because obviously we're gonna switch it. So this vehicle's probably halfway done right now. We're gonna have to do the suspension, wheels and tires, and finish up the PPF. Oh, well. This is undefeated number two, four door. Sorry, I know you guys are kind of jumping in the middle of it, but this is undefeated build number, actually four technically right now. Uh, this is this uh, four door model, the 110. We're blowing it all apart. Those are all the pieces for it. So this is how we're gonna have a custom color as well. And then once the painting's done, we're gonna go do interior. And then on our G-Wagon project, so that's the floor panel. That floor panel belongs there where we are working. So right now we're taking the old floor panel that has rust on it off. We're gonna cut this one to shape because we're not gonna use all of it. We don't need to graft that whole piece. So we're gonna cut this down to the size that we need and install it in there. our version of a Recaro seat. Works really well. I got some for David's uh, drift car. Okay, so truck that you've seen a lot of is Pavo's.
Pavo Raptor is back in. Uh, we're putting on new leaf springs. Um, the old leaf springs were a little bit tired and, um, and we had gone under the axle on the old ones um, and we decided to go over the axle to get more travel out of them. So we flipped up the, the leaf spring setup and then we are rebuilding the shocks and we put a beefier spring up front. Right Tim, we put a beefier spring up front, right? Yeah, right height was a little low, so we're increasing the spring rate and put a little bit of a longer spring up front. Okay, so there you go, right height was low. We addressed it by doing a longer spring up front with a different spring rate. And then we switched up the configuration of how the leaf springs were set up in the rear. Look at, me, look at this monster. Four O's. Jesus. This thing's badass. We have Ray on our Bronco over here. How about what? Look at this, brand new parts, love it. New leaf springs, new shocks, sway bar end links. That's what we like to see. We like to bring life to older vehicles and that's what we're doing. You gotta love the simplicity of these older cars. So take it, just look at the difference. This is a, what is this, 87, 88, Ray? This is 90. Oh, 90, okay, so look, 1990 Bronco probably putting out what, like 250-ish horsepower. Look at the diameter, if that, after these, this many years. Uh, look at the diameter of the drive shaft. Obviously the length is dedicated, uh, predicated by how long or short the truck is, so it's gonna be short, but look how just uh, thin it is. Maybe what, two and a half inches? And then look at the Raptor. So granted the Raptor's aluminum, so the aluminum one's gonna be a little bit beefier uh, and, and still lighter weight than the steel one, but look at how much bigger that is. So look at, again, you can see the difference between the steel one on the Bronco, how uh, thin it was, and then the aluminum one here, how big it was. Again, the aluminum, you want to be a little bit bigger so it's stronger, uh, but aluminum will be stronger and lighter than what the steel one would be. So that's it for our shop walkthrough, guys. Uh, we're excited to get that Bronco done, so you guys will be seeing that in the next episode. And I'm going to leave you guys with the view that I always leave you guys with, with these beautiful GTs behind us that are in for service. Until next time, see you then.